Hello, it is Wednesday, February 28th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Wednesday crossword. It's the last, no, it's not the last day of February, sorry. Tomorrow's the last day of February. It's a leap year. Anyway, um, it's a, regardless, it's a midweek, mid-difficulty crossword. So perhaps a bit of a step up from yesterday's puzzle, although I did peek into the Daily Solve Discord chat server, and it does seem this might be another slightly gentler puzzle relative to its day, which would be good because like yesterday, I threw entirely my own fault in this case. Um, I am running running late again, and so I don't have very much time. I will try to improve upon this uh, going forward. But anyway, um, this hopefully not too gentle mid, or sorry, not too difficult oof, uh, midweek edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Josh Lucas, Alex, Laura Sexton, and as always, the indomitable Shulmaster. So thanks so much to the four of them. They're benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. So they do support this channel. They keep this all going. I'm very grateful to them. Thank you to those four for their support. Thanks to everybody who contributes to the Patreon campaign. You can find it at patreon.com slash daily solve or via a description field link. You'll find there all of the bonus videos available to patrons as well as for benefactors, the official mug. Thanks again if you do contribute. And thanks if you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. That is a big help. Subscribing, liking videos, commenting on them, those things all help out. And finally, there is that aforementioned Daily Solve Discord chat server. It's a nice friendly chat community. And there's a description field link to that as well. All right, so now let's get on to the crossword. This is a debut construction by Greg Snitkin. So welcome to him. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. It's a Wednesday puzzle. It will have a theme. Let's start solving. What Professor Moriarty was a professor of? Um, so this is the character from the Sherlock Holmes stories. In four letters, math, probably? Um, let's look at the downs. Comedian Hedberg, this is Mitch Hedberg, who said, I'm against picketing, but I don't know how to show it. Um, I don't know that I've seen very much, but I at least know the name, Mitch Hedberg. So that, I do think, makes this math. Let's look at the crosses here. Allergic reaction. Uh, what is an allergic reaction that starts with A? I don't know. Okay, what about this one? OG original gangster rapper. Um, Ice T? I, th I think, especially in four letters starting with an I, oh, although this looks a bit odd. No, it isn't odd. It's perfectly appropriate. Start as many URLs would be HTTP at the beginning of a web address for a hypertext transfer protocol. There we go. So here we have just like that, just like that, we filled in another answer with a common phrase. Oh, the allergic reaction. It's a chew. It's the, it's the sound of the reaction. The reaction is sort of going a Jew, making the sound of a sneeze. Okay. So things with hardware and software components, computer something. Uh, computers obviously have hardware and software. Computer. Um, I don't know. What, computer what? I don't know. Okay, we'll come back to it. Quickly join a call with on. No, people often say, would you want to hop on a Zoom, that kind of thing, or hop on a call. One who works well with others is a team player. And Bunny first appearing in Space Jam. Oh, I didn't know this. I do. I think Lola Bunny is is a, a Bugs Bunny counterpart. I don't know. Is she in a relationship with Bugs Bunny? I don't know. Um, and I don't actually know that I've seen Space Jam, but I have heard of this character at least. So there we go. Nasty, oh, some, something nasty is ugly. It's unpleasant. And infantry members in brief are GIs, which I think I always interpreted to mean general infantry, but I, I've seen people suggest that might not be the case. And in fact, there being infantry in the clue makes it even less likely that that's what this stands for, because ordinarily we wouldn't abbreviate an actual word from the clue itself. So if someone can let me know what that might what that might mean. But anyway, it refers to, you know, enlisted soldiers, essentially. Uh, Firebird maker Pontiac, which I don't think exists anymore, but was a, a car make, and they made a car called the Firebird. Some lunchbox Sammies, so Sammies for sandwiches, indicates we're going to be abbreviating or contracting the answer in some way, just as Sammies is a uh, sort of contracted abbreviation of sandwiches. So here we have PBJs for peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. 2020 NFL retiree who leads all quarterbacks with 123 regular season games of 300 plus passing yards. 
I, I haven't even a clue, even with three out of five letters given. Sorry. Taunt. To taunt is to jeer, to mock. Repairs as a golf green. Sods, maybe? You, you re-sod it? That's probably right. You put down a new layer of sod. Oh, and here is a classic. In this case, clued as McFlurry flavor, which is a, um, uh, which is a McDonald's ice cream thing or something. But anyway, it's an Oreo, official snack cookie of the New York Times crossword. Grant consideration sometimes. Grant consideration sometimes. Um, I assume that this means a grant in the sense of money allocated for a project or research or something. What is it? What about this one? Oh, it's this. Hmm. What is this? Is there any way sods is wrong? Oh, need. Oh, no, no, it's need. As in a grant could be given, maybe a tuition grant could be given to those in need. Okay, that, that there we go. That's the answer. Okay, great. So this is Breeze as the retiree. All right. So computer S, computer, oh, no, no, it's things. Well, no, it's probably computer somethings, but I don't know. We'll come back to it. Abrasive, something rough would be abrasive, maybe? A raspy, maybe? Or what else could it be? Rough, raspy, um, now I'm just thinking of R's, which it need not start with. Well, let's look at the down and see if it does. Big inconvenience. Okay, I don't know. Blank, The Way of Water, 2022 film. Um, I've not seen either of these, but I do know that it's the Avatar sequel. So there we go. Bar Mitzvah for one. I assume this to be a rite, it's a religious rite in this case. So I, I assume that's what they're looking for. Major dis, as in a sort of slam where you insult somebody. Is that what we're looking for? Oh, it is, it is probably slam because, or at least something that starts with S, because that would allow abrasive to be harsh, which does not start with an R. So there we go. France's partner in old SNL sketch, sketches. Franz, 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 I don't know. Uh, what about this? Walled city near Madrid, a villa. There we go. Hell of a guy, Satan, I suppose, who presides over hell. Um, and then, oh, is it Hans and Franz? Does it rhyme? I'm not, I don't think I'm familiar with these sketches, but... I think that's the answer. So then what, oh, computer systems. Oh, okay, that was pretty straightforward. I just didn't think of it. Computer systems have hardware and software components. Big inconvenience is a hassle. There we go. And in the style of is a la, um, used often in, um, I don't know, recipes, things like that. Um, Doc all orange would be an example. Well, I guess in that case, it doesn't really mean <laughs> um, in the style of, per se, but anyway, a la, to the, in the style of, from the French. What a snooze fest. Yawn. Bit of a tire that sends the message, I mean business. Bit of a tire, a power tie, I guess? Never really understood what specifically, def how would you know someone's wearing a a so-called power ties. <laughs> what defines that as opposed to it just being a tie? I don't really know. In any case, I think it's the answer. Many a Weird Al Yankovic melody, a polka. He played, plays, I guess, accordion and would, would do these sort of medley polka tunes. Um, boo boo. So this is a childlike way to refer to an injury or an owie, I suspect. This looks like clown. Uh, yes, Someone Terrorizing Kids in a 1986 Stephen King novel. So um, I've not read any Stephen King, but I at least I'm certainly familiar with the premise of It, which features a an evil clown or at least some kind of entity that appears in that form. So what is it? It's, oh, a scary clown, I guess. Okay, so do we have, do we, can we infer anything about the theme? We have computer systems, scary clown. I mean, we have S's and C's. I don't know if that means anything. And, and Y's in each. I don't know. Okay, took a lap, perhaps. You swam, maybe? You, you took a lap in a swimming pool? 
method, yeah, method, it looks right because methods are ways, the method of doing something, the way of doing it. Many a monopoly property abbreviation could be an avenue. So you go through monopoly buying up streets and things, and some of them are avenues. Spanish sparkling wine is cava. There we go. I recognize that. And here we have Diego Blank, one of two joint winners of the FIFA Player of the 20th Century Award. Okay, well, Maradona, I I certainly have heard of as an extremely famous footballer. So so there we go. I can at least put that in. So I'm not not 100% without any awareness of any sporting knowledge. Soul Singer Bridges. Um, I feel like I should be able to just put this in, but I can't, but I can't think. One of the Manning brothers. Oh, here's another, here's another sports thing that I actually can bring to mind. I know that there are, uh, American football players, Eli and Peyton Manning. So there we go. Here's one of them. And then here we have another theme clue. We have participation dance in which you turn yourself around. That's the, well, it's the hokey cokey here in the UK. What is it in the US? It's the hokey pokey. There we go. That was weird. It took me a second to remember the version of it that I <laughs> would have been familiar with for much longer in my life. Anyway, um, so what is th what is this? They all have Ys. This one has neither an S nor a C. I don't I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. Parasite's place could be a. host a host right okay parasite feeds on a host or or you know preys on it or whatever um apple devices run on it they run on ios which is the mobile operating system that apple develops societal troubles are ills the ills of society you could say and a place to order handmade goods could be etsy which is the site um where you buy things from individual sellers ostensibly big letters in home security ADT manufactures alarm systems and, and things like that for homes. Uh, here we have not doing anything. If you're not doing anything, you're idle. Here one may dominate a conversation. One may dominate a talk. Hog? I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what this is. Sorry, talk. I don't know. Chatterbox? I'm not sure. Talking point? I don't know. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, e.g. That is a plea um, made in the film Star Wars. And Captain Von Trapp's betrothed in The Sound of Music. Is it Ilsa? I mean, I think I've seen The Sound of Music, but not in a very, very long time. I think probably, well, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't just assume that. Elsa, maybe? I don't know. Well, it probably ends with an A. That, at least, I can be relatively confident of. So one may dominate a conversation. A... Oh, I just can't see what this is for some reason. And here we have, we totally should. Yes, let's. Okay, so it is Elsa. Okay, good. So glad I didn't write that immediately in. So yes, let's is probably the case. Cause of wear and tear would be use. So use of a you know device leads to wear and tear. Michelob light blank light brew. Michelob Ultra is a uh, is a bottled beer. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's sometimes available on, on draft. I don't know. Okay, ending of The Bachelor, question mark. Okay, I've never seen The Bachelor, but the question mark makes me wonder if maybe I don't need to have, because maybe this is actually a punny sort of thing and it doesn't rely on knowledge of the, of the show. Ending of The Bachelor. I mean, it lends in the letter R. Sometimes that's a kind of punny thing that you might have, but I don't see how that is relevant to the, the crosses here. Okay, we'll come back to that suit material question mark so this i think is referring to a lawsuit rather than an article of clothing so tort a, a wrong done to someone or alleged to have been done to someone so you'd you'd file a lawsuit in order to to get restitution makeup of a match sets maybe so in other words in tennis you could have you know a game made up of sets and then in turn sets made up of matches. I think that's probably what we're looking for, as opposed to a match with which you'd light a flame. Features of some, or start a flame, features of some cruise ships. Spas, I guess, on a cruise ship, you could have a spa, presumably. Seems likely enough. If you're straddling something, you're atop it. 
and and oh i see okay yes yeah, so it was it was a funny sort of thing ending of the bachelor could be at as in the bachelorette which is obviously another phrase or another show in this case as well so there we go okay oh and here's our theme revealer the main takeaway or when considered in three different senses a description of 20 33 and 41 across okay so three different senses means at least that suggests these three clues won't themselves have anything directly uh, connecting them, which makes me feel better about not guessing whatever this is going to be. So the main takeaway. Something all obviously, but I don't know what, what it's all about. The main takeaway. When considered in three different senses, what it's all about. Oh, I see. It as in information technology, which deals with computer systems. It as in the entity in it or or, or the name of the series uh, or the book, it, and the films on which it's based. And then the hokey pokey or the hokey cokey is that's what it's all about. You sort of put your foot in and take it out. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. That's how it goes. All right. Buffoonery is antics. There we go. Silliness. Like food served at a tea party would be dainty, I suppose. Seems likely enough. Car dealer's offering is what? What is a car dealer's offering? I'm not sure in this case with a U there. Knight's trusty companion, a knight's trusty steed. Those, those words are often paired. So I wonder who, who, what sort of literary source first deployed that. Command centers, for short. HQ's headquarters, probably. That would be a command center. Oh, talkaholic? Okay. I don't think I've heard the phrase talk talkaholic. Um, but, I mean, I mean the, the meaning is quite clear. I just... Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Car dealer's offering is... A quote, right. Okay, you'll be quoted on the price of a car. Okay, great. Blank you vera much, punny valentine. <laughs> Allo you vera much. There we go. Wow, this is a this is a new way to clue the official medicinal plant of the New York Times crossword, the aloe or or the aloe vera. Um, so yes, definitely a new one on me. Allo you vera much. Very good. Okay, Baba Ganoush, there we go. Is a uh, is a food, is a dish. And I'll bite, you might say, to say, oh, sure, tell me what it is you, you're teasing me with. And then nailed is in a test. You aced the test. Great. We'll go over here. Entered speedily. Maybe you ran in to a room. Standing up could be erect. You're up. You're standing straight. Full of the latest is newsy, maybe. A, a sort of a program is newsy. It's full of the latest information. But let's look at the downs. Small songbird is a wren. There we go. Fabled slacker is hair, as in the tortoise and the hare in Aesop's fable. So the hare slacks and loses to the ostensibly slower animal. And then all over again is a new. We did this, uh, every, you know, every day I solve a crossword all over again. I solve it anew. So there we go. Nice clean 1800 day streak has been achieved. And uh, I think that was a nice approachable Wednesday crossword, all things considered, as far as a midweek puzzle goes. And, um, and there we have it. We had what's it all about, which in different ways applied to computer systems, a scary clown, and the hokey pokey. And, uh, and that was our Wednesday theme. There we go. And a nice debut from Greg Snitkin. Thanks to him. And thanks to you for watching The Crossword. I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully for a less rushed edition of The Daily Solve. So do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Wednesday. Take care. Uh -huh.